The other thing that I learned in the Japanese university is that many of the professors force us to read from the original text. That means when you study about maybe Adam Smith or John Maynard King, we are not supposed to read from the textbook. We were asked to read his original book, the one he written by him. That means the original text, uh, of course not his manuscript, lah, huh? mm -hmm. so, but the book, his original book. So when you read from the original book, then you know that the arguments sometimes are not so nice. So when they wrote textbooks, uh, they write until very nice already, right? Beautify. Uh, Beautify. Yeah. But then you know that when he start writing, actually certain thoughts are not so clear, mm. but the overall thoughts are very clear, very good. Mm. It's very revolutionary. The eye-opening part is that you know that when people start to have a very original idea, it need not be actually expressed very nicely. Mm -hmm. But it was a fantastic idea. So when you know that, it's, oh, yeah, next time when I start to write an idea that I think is original, I don't need to be so conscious that it must be written very beautifully. <laughs> It's an idea, it's an idea. So when we read the original text, it was such an eye-opener. So we read a few of those original books of those people. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, it was a big, big uh, eye-opener. Those are my experiences in, in Japan. And I think I benefited a lot, a lot from the education in Japan. You know? Thank you for watching the video. As we still have many inspirations to share with you, please subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can be up to date with what we are doing. You may also like to share this video with your family and friends so that we can stand together and help save Singapore progress, compassion.